Welcome, everyone. It's the Crypto Lark. Very excited today to have the chance to speak with Dom from Noya Network. Dom, how's it going? Hi, Lark. Good to meet you. And hi, everyone watching today. Great to have the chance to finally talk to you. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, we actually talked about Noya Network uh, last year on the channel, but a lot has happened since then. So this video is serving really as an update to get, let you guys know what they've been up to and really explore, I think, a little more in-depth what is going on with Noya Network. So we're going to get into all that. Just a quick disclaimer as well, guys. Make sure to always do your own due diligence on any crypto project. And a massive thank you to the team at Noya Network for supporting the channel by sponsoring today's video. So, Dom, the elevator pitch. What are you guys doing? Okay, so we're enabling the transition from the current internet architecture towards the next generation of internet powered by blockchain, which we call the programmable internet. So we're doing this by combining the latest internet protocols together with blockchain technology to resolve some core internet design limitations and security problems. So we're doing this by introducing a decentralized internet transit exchange, which connects different networks into one unified programmable network. Uh, this is what we do right that's now. Pr that's, that's awesome. <laughs> but that's, the, look, the, the internet as it is today, there are so yeah. many faults. You know, back when we made the internet, uh, I don't think that the original people behind a lot of the, the creation yeah. of the internet thought that we would end up where we are. And the internet's kind of a broken place. I mean, I realize yeah. it works every day, but it's kind of a broken place. So can you tell us a little bit why this technology that you're developing is so important? Because current internet uh, design is uh, very limited uh, to innovation. Uh, the, the current internet routing protocol is Border Gateway Protocol, which, which was created in 1994, and it's still used today. So, so due to this protocol, there are a lot of security and a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, internet routing inefficiencies, which create a lot of problems for, for the internet users and enterprises worldwide. And I'm talking about, uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, huge losses in, in revenue. I'm talking like, uh, IHS research recently accounted for 700 billion uh, loss uh, for enterprises in North America alone related to internet outages, uh, internet link problems, software crashes due to internet uh, inefficiencies, those kind of things. So that's pro that problem in, in, with internet uh, being not efficient, not dynamic enough, not, uh, not secure is, is very wide, widely understood and, and acknowledged. It's a crazy situation. And just just to go back for a second on that that one thought, we're using the protocols from the '90s, guys. Where that's what's yeah. still powering yeah. the internet. That's like it's almost thirty years old at this point. Oh, twenty five years old at this yeah. point. It's crazy. It's crazy. It so is. We it really is. need to upgrade the internet to have, to be honest, the internet of the future, right? Because we're still kind of operating on the yeah. the shell of the internet of the past. Now, I want to explore yeah. some uh, some of the use cases here with you about the programmable internet about how how is this actually going to you know be benefiting and so can you explore those use cases a little bit with us yeah so first of all programmable internet uh is built on an on an open foundation so so basically it provides maximum utilization of internet infrastructure which makes internet like number of times faster dynamic uh, and uh res resilient to hacking and, and attacks so, but but both but programmable internet has huge use cases for both uh, regular internet users and 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 internet internet global internet business market uh, worldwide. So so for for a regular user, for example, like right now, we're saying that uh, this this whole concept is built on openness and resource sharing. So we encourage people to share their internet connection, and by doing this. Uh, your internet connection becomes a part of this new internet, programmable internet, and you get access to the best internet connection possible given uh, your internet plan, location, and, and other details. So, so basically, we are saying that if you would, will share and you, if you will contribute to the network, we'll provide you with the best internet uh, as fast as possible, guarantee uh, best gaming and television experience, those kind of things. So this is our goal. 
and the more people share the internet, the better it is because you can uh, you can balance the network and uh, foster the competition between uh, different internet service providers, to, to, to which leads to innovation and evolution of internet infrastructure. So, and and also it poses a huge use case for for enterprises because, as I said, uh, companies experiencing huge losses due to uh, internet uh, outages and and other related problems. So. So we are uh, we are uh, providing a a this so as as we open up the infrastructure and unify the infrastructure, then we can have uh, a platform to to make it more efficient and 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 this is what enterprises uh, are looking for right now. Really decentralizing the internet. I think that's one of the biggest challenges the internet faces right now. Is it is centralized, so it's inefficient, right? Because we have to route everything to you know, centralized hubs, which reroute it back out. Whereas you're talking about the decentralization of the internet, where I, as a regular person, I can actually participate in the network, not just be a receiver, but an actual active participant that can get rewards in the network. Yes, yes. That's a very important part because I think what blockchain really brings is it brings openness and it brings uh, in in incentives for, uh, for, for users to start contributing, start sharing, and 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 benefiting from from doing that. So that's uh, that's a very big concept because uh, in the past, when when the protocol was created, when when in 1994, for example, they didn't have blockchain. They 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 didn't have. So right now, internet doesn't have a a database uh, where all the records about internet connections are are kept so so distributed ledger really creates a a a, a way to to get a database and to use that database uh to to make this internet programmable uh yeah yeah i mean it's uh it's so good to see the upgrade of the internet coming now who is your target user i suppose i mean who do you want participating in noia network and i, I know there's already um i think five thousand nodes or something like that that are participating in yeah. the network but in terms of the target user i mean are you targeting this to enterprises is that where the message is going right now in terms of marketing or do you want more regular people people to come on board in order to support the decentralization of the network or are you working on both of those at the same time both both at the same time because we've been running the testnet of uh, 5,000 nodes, as you said, it's true. We've been running a testnet for 5,000 community-run nodes, I think, uh, for for nine months right now, and uh, and 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 this uh, that this led us to to do a lot of a lot of good stuff to to create the the network basically, which will serve as a as a as a as, a, as our first backbone. So, and secondly, we've been uh, we've been also working with the data centers and cloud companies. Uh, to to build uh, the 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 more high capacity nodes to distribute the traffic the, the traffic which will serve as a, mm -hmm. as a core nodes so 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 yeah so and and we're also working with the with the with the customers right now which are using the network uh, and 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 trying to and solving uh, solving their problems so 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 yeah so but we are basically tackling the both uh, the both channels right now. Now, in terms of business, for a business to start using Noia Network, are they going to have to make any kind of big changes to their existing software stacks or anything like this? Or are they just going to be able to kind of plug and play with Noia Network? So that's the strongest point we have because we are not creating any new protocol. We're taking a standardized protocol, uh, uh, segment routing protocol, which was recently created by Internet Engineering Task Force, and we are and we are providing a very user like like a very optimized and user friendly platform just to connect your existing infrastructure to the network. So basically, you don't have to change anything. You just have to. You just have to uh, understand how it works and and how to use it. So that's a that's a very uh, that's a very good thing because most of the projects right now, which are uh, either targeting to to solve some internet problems, they are usually creating their own protocols, and that's that's that could be a problem. Yeah, you obviously want to meet enterprises where they are and make it as easy to onboard new people as possible. Now, can we explore a little bit about the blockchain itself? So, how exactly is Noia Network utilizing the blockchain here? So we are we are using distributed ledger technology uh, to be to be specific. 
So our uh, decentralized internet transit exchange model is based on a distributed ledger with uh, Byzantine fault tolerance protocol model and uh, on proof of stake validation of transactions. So, so, so this is our uh, this is our blockchain model, and and we use blockchain to to, to write all the available connections on mm -hmm. on the open internet and then uh, this database this distributed database is used for 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 programming the network and 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 providing and providing the platform to to sell or buy certain uh, certain internet connections and then the so, the the token system ecosystem will also yeah. exist there so that's where the rewards yeah. are distributed and yeah. who paid yeah. what to who so token token system is uh, is very important for us as we are heavily focused on 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 creating an effective token economy model which would uh, uh, which would uh, grow when the network usage grows okay so that's i think the most important thing to have a very strong token economy model and and right now we have uh, we have a model which w where our Noya token acts as a digital currency uh, in 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 our in our programmable network. So basically, it, it is used for transaction fees and 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 uh, it will act as a medium of exchange. But for a regular user, it'll it'll open up the programmable internet. So basically, if you hold a token, you will get uh, the, the 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 faster, the better internet. And 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 but and and also, if you can earn the token, if you just keep your connection open and 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 give us uh, an ability to. To, to share it with the network, so so that will that will create a lot of incentives, and our goal is to create to create incentive for both for a regular user and for an enterprise to 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 to, to open up and 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 to use this native currency because uh, it it benefits all the users at once. Yeah, and it becomes the the oil of uh, the new internet, yeah. right? Seeing this token, yeah. I mean. It, it, Big companies are going to need it in order to access those better connections. People are going to get it as a reward incentive for hosting the network. And so it becomes this this medium of exchange within that ecosystem. Yeah. So you're not the only company out there trying to address the decentralization of the Internet. I mean, we've had some projects have been around for quite a long time. We have some other uh, newcomers which are also working on the decentralization of the Internet. What makes Noya Network stand out from the competitors? I think uh, different projects solve different different problems, and uh, and and uh, but but in terms of our project, I think uh, we are, we have a huge competitive advantage because we are using standardized protocols like segment routing, which was created by the Internet Engineering Task Force and is heavily adopted by Cisco. For example, and Cisco is one of the biggest enterprises in this in this industry, so it brings us. Uh, to, to a point where we can use this protocol and access huge infrastructure and 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 uh, alre which already exists. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are not recreating. We're not providing. You know anything like like usually protocols do create new protocols. Yeah, projects they do create new protocols. We are using protocol and we uh, which already exists and is widely adopted together with distributed ledger technology, which is only used, you know, for rec for the records and mm -hmm. and and for the transactions uh, between uh, for you know for for internet infrastructure trading transactions. So so that's uh, that uh, that I think is very strong because it both applies for the enterprise customers and for regular users and tackles the internet uh, problems from its core from from where you know the core routing stores from how the ISPs work and how how this infrastructure is built because you know yeah so I think that's the strongest point we have because and we are very unique in this case because because some of some pride. We also started as a CDN, as you said. So you know, we thought that we are solving, but uh, but later we understood that you need to understand the core in order to do that. Now you've also been uh, kind of, even though yes, you guys stand out amongst the the other projects. You've also been kind of working with some of these other projects. So we've got the uh, so the Web three infrastructure alliance. Yeah. So can you explain a little bit about that alliance and who the members are and how you're all kind of working together to create the Internet of the future? 
Yeah, we started this alliance in order to, to foster the adoption for uh, decentralized applications, basically. Uh, we started with uh, with uh, three more projects, Portal Network, NKN, and Bluezell. Uh, so, uh, and, and, and we focused on building a toolkit called uh, Kaizen. So Kaizen uh, is a toolkit uh, which provides uh, users a very user-friendly interface to build and deploy dApps. So, so, and we are still working on this project, buying new projects, and this is like a nonprofit initiative uh, to to basically uh, gather these projects together and 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 really uh, focus on bringing the adoption, focus on integrating those technologies, all the technologies together, and 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 forming one uh, unified you know layer for for users to to come and and adopt those technologies so this is the main goal for web infrastructure alliance the free infrastructure and now it's great to see you working together with these other projects so it's not to oh we're out all out here competing it's no there's such a big task at hand we all need to work together to try and actually create this future that's going to benefit everyone yeah. but we've also got some interesting uh, partners and investors on board and i want to explore a few of those can you, can you talk us through the relationship between noia network and hedera hashgraph so we've been uh exploring the possibility of working with different blockchain protocols because uh, we are searching for the best uh, for the best you know mechanism to, to, to enable the programmable internet so Hedera Grash hash graph as as tomo chain for example they've been our partners in exploring the blockchain technologies and helping us to, to, to build them and you've got another one uh... Tuto Tunes, Tuto Tunes. Can you explain uh, yeah. who they are and how they're going to be beneficial to the ecosystem? It is a gaming company. They are our POC customer, proof of concept customer. They are using our network. Uh, it is. Uh, they have more than five million, I think, downloads of their of their games. So they're quite big gaming agency, and they're exploring making their their games better, more uh, more stable, and more uh, more you know, more powerful with Noi Network right now. Very so they're cool. our customers, yeah. Very, very cool. That's awesome. Like, like, like ours, yeah. We, we have more than, yeah, more customers. Also, some, some from gaming, some from uh, data center industry, some from advertisement exchange industry. So all of these companies, they use, uh, sta they, they need uh, stable and, and guaranteed internet, high performance internet connection, which Noi brings to them. Yeah, well, it all goes back to what you were saying at the start that in North America alone, it was what, $700 billion or something of uh, of lost um, potential because of network outages and things like this. And it's really tough for these companies whose business models rely on that. That's, that's a yeah. hit for these companies. So they obviously have a big incentive to have a, a an internet that's always up, always running and always works for them. Yeah, and uh, there are many other things, you know, like I think, you know, security problems, especially because, uh, because for example, Bitcoin network recently, there was one paper uh, and, uh, from, from one, uh, from few scientists uh, from Sweden, I think, or from, from Switzerland. It was about uh, how internet related, uh, you know, problems can uh, affect Bitcoin network. And, 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 and this was already a case multiple times when Bitcoin network IP addresses were hijacked. And this is how the, the network were, was put in danger. Uh, and because of the internet problems, not because of the Bitcoin network in, in itself. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so these, uh, so that's why it is very important to address those problems. And, and, and this is what Noia does. We think that the programmable internet uh, really helps to solve, to, 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 to decentralize the, the, the decentralized networks like Bitcoin to descent, to make them, to make the connections between the, 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 the nodes decentralized. And this would uh, definitely increase the security and, 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 and maybe uh, even solve some, some fatal security flaws. So, so re and then of course, recently right now, our team is, uh, so we we have new people joining the team and uh, uh, like uh, we will announce this. Uh, these are like very, so right now, some of some of the team members are very uh, 
uh, well-known experts in this field and uh, we are expanding the team. So we'll announce everything uh, in upcoming few weeks. Very, very cool. Now, the, yeah. the final question here for you today, looking forward to the rest of 2019, what can we expect from uh, Noya Network? What's on the roadmap for you guys? So uh, first of all, right now we are doing the token launch. Uh, and uh, this is very important for us because we already have the testnet running for about nine months. So we want uh, we want to start uh, we want to start this, this we want to start providing the services for our for our for, for, for the users. So so we'll launch the token and and then we'll start in 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 a, in a in like a we'll start like a, a community program to, to to benefit our our the most uh, loyal community members. Uh, which uh, run the nodes and and also supported the the project from the very beginning. So uh, that would be that would be exciting, and this and this is uh, how we want to, to to kick off the network and start everything. So uh, by the by the second quarter of of, of 2019, we're planning to have uh, to have you know network running uh, on on and probably in the main net launch. Very very if, cool. If stuff. everything goes, so, yeah. Awesome. Well, for anyone who wants more information about uh, Noya Network, there are some links down below so you can go and check out the website, read through some of the documentation, also engage with the community. So make sure to you know, get over there and join up with some of those social groups so you can you know ask any questions that you might have or actually just become part of that community. So the links for that are all down below. Dom, thank you so much for coming on today and telling thanks, everyone Lars. a little thanks. bit about it. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Good to see you guys.